Okay, I'm talking with Patrick Barkey. He's the director of the uh, Bureau of Business and Economic Research at the University of Montana. And, uh, Pat, I wanted to visit with you, uh, at, you know, because you're with the business community, about what in the world uh, is going on with the stock market. There has been, over the last week or so, uh, what uh, they're calling a major correction. So if you could just tell me uh, uh, what's happening and for the average person out there that uh, maybe looking at their 401k and weeping uncontrollably, uh, what what do we do? Well, those are two two different kinds of questions. Uh, the first question is what is going on with the stock market is what's happening every day on the stock market. Uh, there are hundreds of millions of transactions for, for, I wouldn't quite say hundreds of millions of reasons, uh, but collectively they move in different directions. Uh, very broadly speaking, the stock market is digesting new information. That's what it does every day. But when it uh, when it does move, and as, as much as it's moved uh, since the beginning of the year, it usually means that uh, something uh, very different is dawning uh, on the folks making trades. And uh, the answer to that question is is largely uh, offshore. It's largely what's happening in Asia. There's other things happening as well. All right. Now, when you say what's happening in Asia, uh, fill us in a little bit. I know China, uh, the number, world's number two economy, uh, it's been faltering, and their own government has been trying to prop it up, and that really hasn't seemed to help very much. So is that an accurate view of what's going on? Yeah, it's a little more complex than that, but that's essentially what's going on. I think the, uh, the news, if you will, uh, to investors collectively is that China can't control its economy. It looked like it could. Uh, Ten years ago, we used to make jokes about it. That we did things the Chinese way. We, quote, got things done. It wasn't very democratic, but uh, certainly there was there was control exercised by central government there. It's very apparent now that that's not the case. Uh, the Chinese do control their statistics, and their statistics are increasingly at odds with what anyone even outside that country can clearly see. So that's that's a negative surprise. It's causing a reappraisal, and uh, stock prices are moving. All right. So the average investor, uh, let's say the mom and pop who puts their money in a 401k, uh, is this something that they should be concerned about, or should should they be uh, thinking about pulling their money out, or or is that something that's up to the individual investor? Well, it's always up to the individual investor. Uh, historically, uh, especially 401k and automatic uh, uh, investments that take place as part of retirement plans are, are fairly passive uh, in reaction to these events. I'm not saying that's the right thing to do, but that's normally what people do is they, they do whatever the default is with their particular saving plan. Uh, should you be paying attention? Sure, you should be paying attention. Uh, but it's it's a fairly complicated question. It depends how old how old you are, and uh, if I could put it just in a couple words, uh, I think we would refer to that as what is your appetite for risk. If you're young, you got a lot of years ahead of you, uh, and working and saving, uh, you may have a higher appetite for risk than you would if you were near retirement age and don't have a lot of opportunity to offset any kind of downward uh, movement in your portfolio. So uh, basically, it, it, what you're saying is it all depends. Oh, sure, it depends. It also depends on what you're invested in. I mean, we talk about the market, but the market is comprised of hundreds of thousands of uh, different investments, and then and there's all the different uh, so-called investment vehicles, you know, combinations of investments. I mean, the, the number of things that you can purchase and invest in is, is a very large number, and, and not all of those uh, act, act the same even when the big aggregates make the big moves.